Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This week I want to talk to you guys about AP classes and why you don't really need to take them. So if you're interested, just keep watching and we'll jump right into it. So yes, I've got a new intro for my videos and a new channel trailer which is an extended version of what you just saw um let me know what you guys think if you like it and all of that in the comment section and anyway back to the point of the video so i actually only took one ap class all of high school i took ap literature my senior year and i took it because i really loved English and I wanted to get a deeper connection to it and have an AP. I wanted to have the experience and all of that. And I don't think that it caused any trouble for me getting into college. Um, but I mean, it's possible that it had an impact, but I really don't think that it made that much of a difference. And from what I've heard from people, AP classes at some colleges, they can actually be a negative on somebody's resume isn't the right word but transcripts because those are classes you'd be taking in college that they're not getting paid for you to be taking so that is something to consider essentially you're getting you're paying your high school instead of paying your college um well you don't pay but the school gets that money instead of your college getting that money, which is one reason that a lot of high schools push ACE and AP classes because they get paid for students taking them. So let me go into what the benefits of taking the AP class were. The first is, um, you know, what you tend to hear. I took the AP, it counted as a credit because I got a certain score on the exam at the end of the year. Unfortunately, my private school that I went to my first year um, didn't take it as a credit. So I took the class and then I had to take the class that it would have um, covered at a public school and then I transferred to a public school. So essentially I ended up taking the same class like three times because my ACT scores covered that um, requirement. So did my AP Lit score. And then I took that class at the school I was at my freshman year. So it was like that class, I really, I really hammered it in, the ideas of that class and what was needed there. Um, but the, the um, AP and ACE classes can then transfer to taking away a requirement once you're in college. Um, AP literature for me, that took away the one of the two gen ed English classes you have to take. Um, something more specific like a marine science or government or something like that would um, transfer to something else. I don't necessarily know how it would work and I think it sometimes depends on your school. So if you're really thinking about taking something specified as far as an AP or ACE goes, I would recommend thinking about how that would relate to your um, college career. Um, I don't know if you'd call it a career, but if you take AP Marine Bio, let's say, if that's something that you would never even come close to taking a class on in college, you might be wasting your time by doing it. Yes, it looks good that you can show that you can do AP college level courses, but if it's just taking the place of a credit that you wouldn't be taking anyway, it can kind of backfire because then you don't get that credit to take something that's more specified towards your major and your career goals and you put a lot of stress on yourself in high school that you didn't necessarily need. Another benefit that I found in taking the AP class, it does help you um, understand the demands and rigor and speed of college. Um, it's definitely that like advanced level. Um, and of course, that's going to depend on the professor too, either in high school or a college professor. Those all depend. So that's not going to 
you're, you'll take an AP class and know what college is like, but it gets you a little more of an understanding there. And what I also really liked about it is, well, one, because I was interested in the topic, I really thoroughly enjoyed the class. I was able to get a deeper understanding of English and literature and analysis and all of those things that the honors classes that I'd taken all my life never gave me. They never taught me the important stuff that I learned there. And because I was so deeply interested, that information was so, so helpful for me and so important. It's really helped me with my essays going forward. I think my writing college essays would have been significantly harder if I hadn't taken that class. I learned so much there, but it was only that important because I then went on to an English major. It wasn't needed necessarily for my general college life. It's definitely helped me with papers for any other classes that I have, but what was so important about it was that it led right into what I was going to do in college and it got me so excited and so prepared for those ideas and what I was going to be doing. As far as should I take all AP and ACEs, should I only take AP ACE classes, that's going to depend on you. But one way to think about it is that AP and ACE classes are designed to be like a college level class or something like that. In college, you're not taking seven, eight classes at a time. You're taking at most five, maybe six, maybe. By taking a ton of AP and ACE classes in high school, you're only putting a bunch of pressure on yourself that you don't necessarily need. And you might then end up doing worse in those classes because you have way too much on your plate. And so it's preferable if this works for you if, and if you want to take AP ACEs, you don't have to. I literally took one the entire time I was in high school. And if you are going to try taking one or two a year maybe, that will then balance off with your other classes, but you're not gonna put an unbelievable amount of pressure on yourself that you don't need as a high school student. Of course, different people are going to have different things that work for them, and I am not the end-all be-all. I cannot judge what every person's situation is going to look like, but if you're concerned that you need them and you have to do them and you're going to force yourself to do them, you don't. You will definitely be fine. Sometimes, you know, I have friends who took a lot of AP and ACEs and did great. They're very smart. Um, but it then led to they are graduating much earlier than they anticipated because of them because it covered so many credits going in and they didn't necessarily plan for that until they of course learned about it but that is another factor to consider one when you're taking them in high school you're not taking them in college and that's going to also cut into the time that you spend there some people are like yes give me all of the ap and aces i want to be out of there quick that's your jam go for it very happy for you some people want to take the time there and experience all of it the entire four years so that's another thing to keep into consideration but it's all about what's going to work for you and what's going to make you feel most comfortable and that you're getting the best out of your experience so thank you guys so much for watching let me know once again any other videos you'd like to see i will see you guys next week bye